Everyone can make amazing things. They just need a place to do it. Kickstarter itself began as a crazy idea in the mind of Perry Chen in 2001. He envisioned a system where an idea could become a reality if enough people believed in it, where traditional gatekeepers no longer had the final word. In 2009, when Kickstarter was founded, the idea still seemed crazy. Would people really come together online to bring creative projects to life? The answer is yes. Over the past five years, Kickstarter has become a vibrant ecosystem where backers join creators to bring new projects to life and test their ideas. Over the past five years, we've seen over 56,000 projects funded by over 5.6 million backers who've together pledged over $989 million. In other words, the price of about 439 million New York City subway rides. <laughs> we at Kickstarter, this is just a few of us, are a small team of 75 who are inspired by the projects that we see launch every single day. We've learned that people are incredible and that ideas have the potential to change the world. Kickstarter is a place where creative projects come to life where people come together to make it happen, and where the whole world can follow in the creation of something new. So let's take a look at a few projects. Sometimes projects are a response to a problem. I'm frustrated by the fact that 89% of engineers are male, Debbie created Goldie Blocks, which is a construction set and toy combined, and sought to inspire a whole new generation of engineers. With over 5,000 backers, Goldie Blocks became a reality. They were so popular that they even had an ad during the Super Bowl a couple months ago, and you can buy the toy in Toys R Us. Sometimes projects expand our imaginations. The Oculus Rift really blurred the line between fantasy and reality. Designer Palmer realized that there wasn't an immersive virtual reality headset for gaming. So with over 9,000 backers, he created one. This is a few of us at Kickstarter experimenting. That's me <laughs> um, with the Oculus. If you haven't tried it, you really should. Um, it's incredible. <laughs> um, we've seen really ambitious projects come to Kickstarter in stages over the course of multiple campaigns. A small team of designers ask themselves a huge question. How could they redefine the way that New Yorkers viewed the water around them? They invented Plus Pool and have pursued the project over multiple campaigns. Sometimes Kickstarter projects are in response to a challenge. A couple of makers took on a challenge put forth in 1980 by the American Helicopter Society, which named a prize for the first human-powered helicopter that could rise to three meters in the air and hover for one minute. With 479 backers behind them, the pair did it. <laughs> we We've had projects that are bigger than life here on Earth. Um, the Ardusat combined an open source electronics platform with space exploration, and for the first time gave the public access to their own space experiments. This is a photo of the Ardusat that was taken from the International Space Station. So I've talked about a lot of huge projects, but most projects on Kickstarter are really made by people like you and me. Most projects raise between $1,000 and $10,000. One of those projects was by a girl named Emily, one of the earliest projects on the site. 
she invited us to sail around the world with her and kept in touch with backers by making videos, exchanging phone calls as she crossed the equator, and even sending postcards back home. Students in Bertie County taught us, if you can dream it, you can build it. In response to the space constraints of their school, students designed their own solution and built classrooms out of shipping containers. The artists swoon where many saw New Orleans, a city that had been ravaged by Hurricane Katrina. She saw the possibility for music. With 357 backers, a building became an instrument. It's now a permanent monument to sound. <laughs> Um, Molly had an idea for a really ambitious artwork, one that could be seen by millions via satellite from above. So she scaled squares one by one to a grid and used New York City rooftops as her canvas. About a month after her project ended on Kickstarter, she was commissioned to paint one of the most recognizable parts of New York City, Times Square. Yet not all projects that are ambitious in idea are large in scope or in scale. Katie wanted to see the world through the eyes of others. So she sent disposable cameras across the globe, invited communities to take photos, and shared the results online for all to see. Girl Walk All Day is an epic 71-minute dance video where a girl uses New York City as her dance floor. My dream would be being able to dance wherever the hell I want and making other people feel like it's okay for them to do that too. <laughs> so silly or serious, big or small, Kickstarter projects all begin as crazy ideas. Yet the power of Kickstarter is in the opportunity to share that idea with others. Projects are funded and followed by friends, by families, by entire communities, and even sometimes, if you're lucky, by strangers across the globe. Kickstarter is the community that comes together around a project, around the potential to create something new in the world. We've learned over the past five years that everyone can make amazing things. What will your project be?